Welcome to this overview of Fingerworks Telestrators and NewTek. Um, what we have here today is a NewTek TriCaster Mini, and we've got it connected to the Fingerworks Telestrator uh, screen and system that's running here. Uh, there's a couple ways we can connect to NewTek. Of course, we can do it the traditional way through SDI in and out, like we do with traditional broadcast switcher switchers. We can also utilize the NewTek AirSend technology and send our drawing layer back to the NewTek equipment uh, on the net input and key it over the program video that way. The other thing we're doing now is we're accepting the stream from NewTek as a video input to the Telestrator. That will be soon the NDI technology that uh, NewTek is about to release, but we're supporting it today, uh, just picking up the stream and using that as the input to the uh, Telestrator. Uh, a couple other things that have changed on our side, uh, besides our 3D drawing engine or in our ability to take in pretty much any asset and turn it into a Telestration tool, we also now have a way to connect our screens uh, through a streaming technology so you can have multiple screens all collaborating over in the same material simultaneously. This also eliminates KVM connections to the remote screens and um, the use of uh, SDI to fiber uh, connectivity of gear when you uh, have to go quite a distance from where the electronics and where the actual touch screen has to be uh, located. So that's a couple of things. I'm just going to go over a couple of use cases for uh, Fingerworks Telestrators and new tech. Of course, the big one we always have done for many, many years is sports. And in particular, we have a football clip here. You always have your typical freehand draw tools that are available to you. You have a few freehand draw tools with arrows and blocking bars, those kinds of things. You can bring in animated uh, circles uh, to, uh, to identify players. We have our zoom tool where you can zoom around like a magnifying glass around the screen. Uh, we have a new tool called point and zoom where you can identify players and it'll, it'll uh, zoom them away from the, uh, the uh, point where you touched. Uh, we have lots of stretchy arrows where you can touch and drag and point in different directions. The other technology we have in here is our ability to separate the players from the field. Uh, we call it masking, so you can uh, now create tools and draw them underneath the players. There's a few examples of that. Also, this vision cone is set in the masking mode, and that's just a way to uh, identify the player's uh, view of uh, what's about to happen on the field. Another use for uh, Fingerworks is uh, golf, and uh, some of the tools that we use for golf I'm just going to load a different tool set here. As you can see, it's all built on saved tool sets for various users. Uh, of course, we have the knot symbol. Don't hit your ball here, those types of things. Again, the zoom can work in here where you can zoom around in the action. We have uh, animated golf flags that we've created for some of the networks. Um, the target tool, this is one that NBC uses for their golf. And we have another target tool right here. So you put a target in a couple of places and then use our point-to-point -point arc <coughs> to show where the player should be hitting the ball onto the green. So that's a, a, a use case with uh, golf. Another, uh, another uh, vertical that this can be used with is uh, for corporate planning. Um, also, uh, fire and rescue can be using this to... Um, to uh, look at maybe a disaster situation where they're trying to get people into a into a location. All of our regular tools that we designed around the sporting um, broadcasts can be used here. Um, again, the Zoom also works in this situation. And that's just an, a, another example. Another one that we can use it in is the uh, medical industry. And again, apply our our tools into the medical industry for uh, that type of thing. One thing you could use the collaboration technology for here is have a physician who's located in a remote location, maybe at home, and he's assisting the physicians uh, remotely uh, as they analyze x-rays and those types of things uh, through our collaboration software where we have uh, multiple clients connected to the same network. One other industry that seems to be taking off here right now is the um, gaming industry. We've had a lot of requests for this, so I wanted to give you a couple of examples here. I know one of the things they do is they have this uh, map of the entire playing area that they, like, they uh, sometimes can't see because it's zoomed into the corner where we could use our zoom tool and zoom it back out so they could use it that way. 
Um, of course, all the other regular tools will work. Um, this is an animated circle that we've created in the software. Um, the uh, other thing we could do is when they're picking their uh, characters in the game, you could use some of our tools to identify the ones they do or do not want to use, that kind of thing. So, and you could go crazy and just see how much stress is on the player's eyes. <laughs> so those are a couple of uh, uh, ideas around uh, how to use the tools. Uh, some of the other things to think about um, on some of the other verticals is, of course, as I mentioned, the medical industry, corporate training, and uh, convention industry for PowerPoint presentations, that type of thing. Uh, the military, there's all kinds of uses uh, where they could be importing their own tools and drawing over uh, military um, maneuvers and having post-mortems and that kind of thing. Uh, of course, we have our traditional broadcast systems that are used in a live situation where they're pure SDI in, SDI, SDI out uh, um, situations. And another one is we do software integration. We can integrate our tools into third-party applications like media asset management systems, for example. So that's a quick overview of Fingerworks and how we are working today with the new tech equipment. Thanks. <laughs>